This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Hope you're doing well out there. Welcome to another episode of Dojo TV, a show where we talk about all things motion design and visual effects. So the first set of news is that After Effects CC 2022 has finally been released. And the biggest feature that kind of came with this is the multi-frame rendering. It's finally out of beta, allowing After Effects to utilize the power of all of your CPU cores when previewing and rendering. So in the past, you would typically want you know, the fastest single core speed possible, but now with all the changes in MFR, you now have a huge speed difference and it's been kind of insane to utilize all your cores in your CPU. Of course, there's other features like render queue shows more information. You can finally get notifications to your desktop and phone whenever your renders are done, which is awesome. Unfortunately, it's through the Creative Cloud desktop mobile app, so meh. But good news is that with MFR, you can actually export your comps up to four times faster as well. And with the new composition profiler, it can actually show you what layers or effects are taking up the most time to render or process in your composition. So you can kind of enable them and disable them whenever you're working on a certain element to kind of speed up your workflow and previewing and stuff like that. So you're not kind of bogged down and kind of guessing, you know, what is taking up a lot of, you know, processing power um, in your projects. We also have the speculative preview feature now available in After Effects 2022, which basically renders your composition while After Effects is idle for a certain amount of time. So basically whenever you're not working, you come back, your previews are ready to be previewed and rendered right away. So it's kind of a workflow enhancement, really, really awesome stuff. There are a lot of other features. And one little side note is that they're actually unifying the version numbers now for all the Adobe video and audio apps. So now all the numbers will align with version number 22, starting with this version right here. And it's making it just a little bit easier for you to ensure compatibility across applications. It's kind of like a logistical thing, but you know, good to know. Let me know what kind of speed you guys are getting down below with the new After Effects, you know, multi-frame rendering. I'm very curious to see what you guys are getting. The next set of news is from the makers of Stardust. This is a new After Effects plugin called Helium. It is basically a new 3D motion design plugin for After Effects, allowing you to quickly and easily create slick and sophisticated 3D animations. You can render 3D models, create animated 3D text, use splines, render terrains, and add primitives. You can even manipulate things by mirroring things, using cloners, add lighting effects, and a whole bunch of other things. It comes with a ton of editable presets, and it's available for Mac OS 10.14 and above, as well as Windows 10 or later, and it will require After Effects 2020 or later. Now, the only drawback in the controversy right now is that it's only available as an annual subscription at 99 US dollars, and that's an annual subscription, and there doesn't seem to be a perpetual license. Now, I know this is a lot more affordable than, you know, paying, you know, $800 or something like that, or $500 one time upfront fee. So this would be a nice kind of easier way to kind of transition to it. But at the same time, a lot of people are anti-subscription and they don't want to add another subscription to their arsenal. And so this might also be a drawback for a lot of people. Um, but you know, technically it is a little bit easier to, you know, get into without having to shell out hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, but it is very interesting. If you want me to do a review on it, let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely check it out. But it is kind of like an Element 3D pseudo sister kind of thing. It does kind of similar things. But again, I haven't tried it out yet. There's a new product that's part of the Red Giant VFX suite. It's called Bang. And basically it's an After Effects plugin for creating realistic or stylized 3D gunfire effects. You can easily create, you know, perfect muscle flashes with intuitive shape controls, number of presets, flashes, star shaped pedals, add glow, sparks, adjust color, brightness, fall off. You even have options for gun wireframe overlays and stuff like that to really, you know, line things up properly. You can add heat blur effects and heat distortions and a whole bunch of other things. Fully 32 bit linear color. It's actually a very interesting Interesting plugin. It kind of reminds me of HitFilm. Um, and so we'll be doing a full video on this later in the month. So stay tuned for that review. Before we go any further, I want to give a quick thanks for our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an online platform and create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customized ones so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any code or knowledge required. They have awesome 25 hour support and best of all, use promo code DOJO at checkout. You can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. Our friends over at Premium B are releasing a lot of free overlays and templates, over a hundred plus free assets, including video overlays, Premiere Pro templates, transitions, other stock elements. They have hand-drawn animated shape and symbols, ice and snow overlays, God Ray light overlays, computer screen generators, and so much more. We love their stuff. We're a huge fan of their stuff. So check it out in the links down below. Our friend Render Tom, responsible for the Labels 2 plugin for After Effects, very, very popular. You've seen a whole bunch of people's workflow. They actually released labels for Premiere Pro to now name your own price. So it's not technically free, but it is name your own price. So pay whatever you want. It's a good little tool to have in your arsenal. Definitely check it out. 
Speaking of labels, they are something kind of similar in Cinema 4D. There's a free plugin made by R2 Rocio called Colorize. And it's a Cinema 4D plugin that allows you to define color schemes and import them and use them in Cinema 4D, such as colorizing objects, node colors, and more. You can trigger selections based on color. So it's kind of similar to labels in a way, and it's a pretty cool free tool for Cinema 4D, so check it out. Lastly, your friends over at Action VFX have released three new awesome tutorials. One is compositing realistic breaking glassware. So you learn how to composite realistic glassware breaking, creating you know realistic glass refraction, using references to create matching reflections, adding splash liquids, color correction, much more. There's also a new tutorial on how to create dark energy ball effects. Um, this is part of their free Halloween packs. So you can actually go grab these exact assets, learn how to use blending modes to subtract to create dark energy looks, how to combine multiple energy elements and enhance things with lens flares, smokes, etc. Pretty cool stuff. And lastly, as part of the new After Effects 2022, they did a nice little thorough review on the After Effects composition profiler to help you kind of prioritize your After Effects workflow. Really awesome stuff by Ashen VFX. So that's pretty much it guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon to stay notified. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.